Hey, I'm Mark McMorris. I'm 17 years old, and I've been snowboarding for about 11 years. Getting into snowboarding for me involved, obviously, a lot of traveling and trips. You go to all these crazy places, have fans everywhere, get to ride in front of insane crowds. I really couldn't think of anything else I'd want to do when I'm 17. This is it, final two riders, loud and proud for Mark McMorris. Competitive snowboarding is definitely something I love. Oh, double 900 right there, that was pretty clean. I finished second overall on the Dew Tour in slope style last year. I had no expectations. All I wanted to do was go to each stop and do my best. Here he comes, bottom kicker. Whoa, in a puff of snow. McMorris puts that down. I like to do well, and if you get on the podium, you know you rode pretty much the best you could that day, and you did your best run, you know? It's great. Never podiumed at a big U.S. event, so I'm just so happy to do that. Um, it's all fun, for sure. Morning. Morning, morning. This is my warm-up. This is my only one. This pretty much does it for my my whole body. I'm totally warmed up. Let's go shred. Good morning to you folks. It's really early and we're about to head up to Keystone to do some shredding. Got the whole crew with me. It's my birthday. Let's do this. Having a brother to ride with definitely helped me 100%. Everything is a little battle between me and him. We always have little contests to see who can get the trick first. Growing up as brothers with Mark was really interesting because he seemed to not really care about his body. Sometimes he would just try a trick even though he had no business trying it. He comes close, so then we'd all try it, and it's, it's funny how just one crazy little kid can push your snowboarding a lot, you know? We've been interested in snowboarding at a very young age, so I think that's why we are at where we're at today, is because we've been competitive, and we've always been pushing each other since we, uh, since we started doing anything, any kind of sport. It's always been a very competitive relationship. He's definitely one of my favorite people to ride with, and he's a... Uh made me a little bit competitive, so it's, uh, he's gave me that little edge, so thanks to Craig for that. We just finished up a really good day of shredding. It was complete bluebird, and now we're uh, about to head over to Copper and see if we can't get crazy. You can learn anything you want here in this building. Diving a lot, skateboarding, tramping. You can do anything here. It's go time. All right, so we play a game when we come to Woodward. We like to call it add-on. Involves a lot of uncomfortable maneuvers and some bad-looking things. Boom, boom, first place. I was definitely looking up to my brother as a kid just because he was the older brother and whatever he did, I had to do. If he would learn a trick, I need to learn it. If I learned a trick, he need to learn it. So it was kind of just always back and forth. Yeah, we're babbling now. It's on. Game of Mike Morris right here. Nowadays, it's like we push each other, and it's really competitive, but it's also, I don't know, you, you're stoked to see him land a trick. Maybe when you're younger, you were a little bit jealous of it. But now, it's more inspiring than anything as competitive, you know. Peace out. Plans for the season are just to do a whole bunch of contests and hopefully do as well as I can and have a lot of fun. I want to leave a mark in snowboarding for myself just to be known as a very like progressive rider, but did it with style, hopefully. I hope people think that. Um, I try and concentrate a lot on style and learning new tricks and progressing the sport as much as I can. Just want to be known as a person that had fun snowboarding. <laughs>